What is up guys we are back with another video and this video is going to be kind of different this isn't like a tip video or anything obviously um i kind of wanted to just talk about the state of my team and kind of get your guys's feedback as well um so first things first guys do me a favor and comment down below what do you guys want to see moving forward um on this channel and everything especially involving this game like obviously i'm still going to be bringing tip videos and everything um but just something more that you guys want from me um, that I can do, obviously, for you guys. Um, but on top of that, I also wanted to talk about this mode, obviously, and really just the issues I am having and just really, honestly, quite frankly, like, I don't enjoy this mode. Like, I've, I've actually been playing Rec a lot. Um, and I've been really enjoying playing Rec with my friends and everything and playing some of the park events that they've been doing. Um, and, and I want to get your guys again feedback. Maybe you guys want to see some of that kind of content or whatever um, But regardless though because there's a lot of tip videos I feel like I could do with park and rec and just some funny moment videos and stuff like that Like overall just different things that again, I can do in this game. So whatever you guys want to see just let me know uh, In the comments down below now, let's get into kind of why I want to make this video again um, now let, first things first I mean, I mean like the biggest thing I think that did drive a lot of people away is involving this right here, the pack market slash player market. And again, the whole auction house being taken out. Now, overall, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that has really, it's had its advantages, but it's also had its disadvantages. Um, and, and we can just honestly take a look at the first set here, uh, the brand new set that is involved that did just come out and like we'll just again use the level up set as an example you guys can obviously use the legendary path one as an example let's just go ahead and break down the level up um collection here right so there is a couple cards here whatever but the main one being a mitch richmond ruby card that evils up into an amethyst card this card goes for 105k mt 75k vc um now, the thing is, guys, obviously, I, I want to just take out the VC equivalent um, because right now, like, if you look at the VC equivalent, you're looking at $20 for one singular Mitch Richmond card that, again, it does evil up to an Amethyst, which is cool. Um, but, but if you guys go back to looking at last year, um, you know, you, you look at, again, a situation where $20, guys, in MT... Now, yes, it was against TOS at the time and whatever. $20 in MT, guys, got you probably, I would say in the beginning of the year, probably five, six, seven hundred K. That is kind of an insane difference when you look at it. So you look at spending $20 here, you're getting one singular card when in all actuality, $20 last year could lock you in this entire collection, right? So that is just kind of one thing that I just... I feel like the prices are still insane to me about what we are getting right now. And what Because the thing is, guys, you're not spending $20 on cards that are going to be really good. You're spending $20, like, even if you guys get Sean Kemp, right? Like, say, like, you were able to somehow maybe pull all these guys. You spent $20, you got Mitch Richmond. So, in a way, you guys got the collection, we'll just say, for $20. This Sean Kemp card is going to get outdated so fast, okay? Like, so fast. He is a locking guy. And on top of that, there's just no value anywhere, to be honest with you, on this market, like in this player market. Like if you scroll all the way back down to the first sets that we were getting, okay, that's just not the first sets. These are the team sets, excuse me. Let's just go back to the first set. I mean, like, again, a guy like Damian Lillard, like is Lillard good? Yes, but Kyrie Irving is free. You could argue that either one of them, you know, is way better um, in this set. This is actually a prime example of this, right? So say you locked in for Clay Thompson, right? Maybe you locked in for Jason Tatum. Whatever the case is, this Devin Booker, guys, is still the best card in the game. Like, I, I don't even think that as a debate. If you put this card in a lot of different people's hands that are really good at this game, he is the best player in this game by far. Fading greens off of screens are beyond easy with this card. And it just, again, a lot of these cards that are dropping just don't hold value. Like... Even if you looked at this T-Mac, if you locked in T-Mac, like, I genuinely still think Booker is a mile better than this card, by far. Um, even again, like J.R. Smith, same thing. I still think Devin Booker clears. So we're already in a situation where, you know, again, Vince Carter and Dr. J, like, Dr. J has the advantage probably on the defensive end, 
but still, this Devin Booker is still a thousand times better. So the cards that we're already getting on the auction house or player market just hold absolutely no value in this game already. And we are in the first season and we're a few weeks in. It just doesn't make sense to me. Now, we did get a brand new set of agendas here, guys, which is really cool. Obviously, the fast break stuff, which is going to lead to you guys getting, obviously, a free Clyde Drexler, which I think eventually leads you to a free Draymond, which is cool. But nonetheless, guys, this, I mean, this, this stuff is cool. I get it. It's awesome. But, like, again, even with this Clyde Drexler being free, you already have Brandon Roy in the game. You already have Kyrie Irving in the game. And again, you already have a Devin Booker. So if you even take out the no money spent aspect or whatever, you're literally already losing value on this Clyde Drexler. And this should not feel this way. Maybe it's just me. And I'm hoping this is just a pointless video that like, maybe it's just me ranting. But to me, this is a huge issue right now in my team. Now I wanted to talk about the second biggest issue. And I feel like the other biggest issue, because we already are kind of covering the MT, we're covering the cars, we're covering everything like that. I want to talk about gameplay, guys. Gameplay is atrocious, okay? Now, I, I made a few tweets about this, and, you know, most of you guys do agree, but there are a few people that are like, oh, the gameplay is great. This is not... I, I'm hoping nobody truly takes offense to this, but the people to me that I'm finding that enjoy the gameplay are the ones that get away with a lot of stuff. Because I've had people come into my streams and be like, oh, I just played you, like... You're just making excuses like that's real life basketball. I cannot stress this enough, guys. This game is not supposed to play like it is real life. And the reason why it's not supposed to play like it's real life is because it is a video game. In real life, you guys can get away with doing different things. Obviously, again, it is real life. If you've played real life basketball like I have, you know this game will never function the way real life basketball does because of other things like delay and whatever you want to say it's just never going to function the way it would in real life okay now i want to show you guys because i don't normally and and again i've explained this beforehand so you guys can get an understanding here just take a look at some of my records that i have in these modes okay 19 and 8 3 and 3 16 and 1 whatever and then 9 and 8 right you guys know I have never been this bad in 2K. Now, granted, I would say four of these losses and probably about six of these losses have come from games where I've either just choked because I lost interest and stopped paying attention, or I simply quit out of the game because I did not care. Now, would I have maybe gone on to eventually lose? Maybe, who knows? I, again, I'm not here to like be like, oh, I, I deserve to have a better record, blah, blah, blah. My point is, is that the gameplay is becoming simply unbearable and it is already to a point where I don't enjoy playing this game. I've had a few of you guys ask, where's the No Money Spend series and everything. I don't enjoy playing this game already. And I'm trying to find ways to enjoy it, but there is just no urge for me, guys. The salary cap mode, they switch every single day, it feels like. So your team one day is usable. Like just a prime example. I haven't touched my team since the last time. Okay, it is still usable. That is good. So at least I can still use these guys. I mean, shout out to Sapphire Devin Booker, I guess. I don't even remember putting him in there. I think I actually had to change my team, and that is why. Um, but, you know, I, again, like there's just so many updates and everything that is going on with salary cap it's making the mode unplayable you look at unlimited unlimited is the same thing every game to me and this is again where i want to stress why i don't like this gameplay I, every time i play this mode i genuinely feel like i'm already at a disadvantage because i know i'm good at the game i know i know how to read situations and the amount of times people will get clamped up the entire possession they send somebody on a backdoor cut. I will be standing right there. I will click steal or I will flick up using the right stick because that is the other thing people like to say is, oh, you got to use the right stick. I will use the right stick and the ball will go through my hands. It'll end up in a foul. Something happens and it just is unbelievably ridiculous. Now, when you want to talk about greening and, you know, oh, well, you know, greening contested shots, that's realistic. Fine. I don't even care about that because that is not the issue again I have. Do I like the fact that, again, somebody could take an absolute god-awful shot and get rewarded for it? I hate it. I, I do not like it. It's annoying. That's, again, not my issue. My issue simply comes from the fact 
it is this game rewards people for making terrible decisions whether it is shooting whether it's throwing baited passes whether it's dribbling through me all that sort of stuff is to me why this game is not fun i know people want to argue again the whole all money spent versus no money spent thing which i actually do think now at this stage already there's a legitimate case for that because just for instance guys again no money spent god squad in my opinion we got a good squad here that i do i don't know why bam is on the bench let's go ahead and bring him back up here i don't know why you're in the starting five i feel like my whole team just got changed around um but i mean if you, if you even were to take a look at you know even like a no money spent team something like this right like where you have a very good competent team or what should be a competent team i've had this happen against several times over the last couple days where i've went up against teams that are you know Kyrie at point guard um you know devin booker at shooting guard you know tatum at the three like stuff like that and then you guys now getting into scotty pippen you're getting into dr j you're getting into all these other cards which i don't care about facing god squads like i'm again more talking for the average player that does play this game which is a majority of you guys I don't like the fact that you guys are going to be matching up with these teams and these guys are going to be able to score by closing their eyes, throwing the ball wherever they choose, shooting a contested shot, getting a dunk. Because again, once the ball enters the paint, there's virtually nothing you can do to get a stop. Because again, you can either green a contested layup or you can white a contested layup. There's a lot of stuff that happens in this game that genuinely just makes it unplayable in my opinion. And I've just lost my joy in playing my team already. And we just started guys we literally just started in this mode it's 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 i'm being so serious when i say this like and i again i'm not even trying to make excuses it is just atrocious it is atrocious it's not fun i'm hoping you guys find some way or another to have fun in this game but me personally there's just no fun in it for me and I'm, again i'm trying to find it because in a way the i mean the agenda thing is cool you know the the free rewards we've been getting like the free rubies and stuff it's cool the content really isn't even all that bad it's just once again we're at a state where the gameplay just caters to people that either spend money or are terrible and that is not a fun experience either way so let me know what you guys think down below how do you guys feel about the game thank you guys for watching and yeah peace